This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. I shouldn't be surprised by this, but I think I am, that consistently the kinds of people that I find most attractive are authentic people. When someone is real, I find myself very drawn to them. And I think that's true of many. I think the most attractive quality of any follower of Jesus is when people are authentic. It's not the It's not the apparent holiness that people try to put on sometimes. It's not the songs we sing or how well we know the Bible. It's not how long we've been in the church for. I think the thing that that people find most attractive about any human being, and especially a follower of Jesus, is when they are authentic, real. So there's this amazing story in John chapter 4, and like all John's stories, they're all along, so I can't get into all of it with you, but it's a story about Jesus' encounter with a woman at a well. They both are there for water, and uh, this is part of the conversation. Jesus says to the woman, everyone who drinks this water at the well will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming back here to draw water. And then rather weirdly, Jesus says to the woman, Go call your husband and come back. Now, in the midst of a conversation about water and things, Jesus interjects this conversation about her husband. And she says, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, You have had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. I don't know about you, I don't know if you see it, but I feel so moved by that last sentence of Jesus. What you have just said is quite true. In the midst of this this weighty conversation that Jesus is about to have with this woman, it feels like he introduces the bit about the husband because he wants to get this woman to a place of truthfulness, to a place of honesty. He doesn't want to proceed and they get into some heavy stuff about God and worship and mountains and where worship should happen. But before Jesus gets into that, he wants this woman to know that he knows who she is, who she really is. And that he's not just okay with it, but that he loves her in it. And that anything that's going to happen in their conversation is going to flow out of the honesty, the truthfulness, the authenticity of this encounter. Uh, If we are going to change, if we are going to become different people, we don't become different just by trying harder. We don't become different by just gritting our teeth. The change in the human spirit and the human soul begins with authenticity. Uh, It is, I think, the word that matters to us, the other A word that matters to us is not just authenticity, but becoming aware of who we are. And so I want to encourage you today to observe the kind of person you are. Don't put on any pretenses. Don't try and hide from the truth about who you are. Just observe, notice your interactions with others, notice the way you're responding to the world, and be who you are, be authentic. And as you observe who you are, and you bring that authentic person before the Lord, God can do amazing things with us. With pretenders, even God will find it hard to make a difference. God bless you today. Go away.